So you've been studying it? What are, Each where are uh, time we go out in the field, I have an agenda. I don't explain the agenda because if I explain the agenda, it's, it's number one, stealing my own thunder in, as, a, as a lesson. And number two, it, it's not, I don't want it to be a verbal lesson. I want it to be an emotional, first-hand experiential lesson. So it's one thing to read about a fen, for example. And it's, it's, feel, it's, it's just words on a page, and the students learn, for example, that a fen is a wetlands that water runs through and it's kind of boggy ground and so on. But it's an entirely different experience to just say to the students, let's take a walk across this field, and the students discover the fact that there's water running through the field and that the ground is very soft and the ground is very uneven and it's very difficult to walk on and, it, and it's something that they've never experienced before. And then they finally make the connection, aha, this is the thing that I read about, this is a fen. And I want them to feel it with their feet, I want them to feel it with their nose, I want to, them to feel it with their souls.